Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have another brand new PNSO figure to take a look at, and this is an exceptionally exciting review because we have a brand new sauropod from PNSO. We don't get too many sauropods from them, so it's always awesome when we do. And this one, as you can see by the species name down here, is a Lingulong, and that's a very cool species of sauropod that I do not have any models of in my collection. So on top of it being a great day because we have a PNSO sauropod it's a great day because we also have a brand new species to enter into my collection thanks to pnso you can see that we have a really nice image of the figure here on the front you can also see again on the bottom left hand side the pnso logo and i'm really impressed with the size of this i did not expect this to be nearly as big as it is like it honestly blew me away when i pulled it out of the packaging just how big this box was so i'm certain i'm going to be really blown away when i actually pull the model out but as far as the rest of the box art here on on the underside you don't really have too much going on up here actually let's flip it around because it's a little hard to see it upside down but up here on the top you could see this really cool image again of the figure basically like the upper half of our lingulong and then here on the other side again it's basically the same thing both sides have the same uh artwork on it as far as the you know main sides of the box so let's go ahead pop this open and check it out so first of all and as always first of all it's upside down but first of all we have the booklet from pnso they always include these really cool booklets and of course as you run through it first of all you can see a silhouette of our lingulong right there but as you run through it you always get really cool images of the dinosaur beautiful toy photography i guess you could call it as they usually give you like a really nice photo gallery of the model and again you can see exactly that right there with that image and that's usually the way that the entire thing is laid out but you can also find all sorts of really cool information about both pnso and the dinosaur itself contained within there's a pretty cool image that we have over here of the lingulong which i actually have not seen previously but these are always really fun, definitely a very good read and also lots to look at in these booklets. Awesome that PNSO continues to include these, giving you again just a lot of bang for your buck. And then we've got ourselves a poster and my camera doesn't want to focus on it it seems, but I always love getting posters from PNSO. But this time it's a little different, wow look at that, so our poster this time rather than like some really cool artwork that was drawn by PNSO looks to basically just be the model itself. Again, a really cool image here, a little, again, dinosaur toy photography done by PNSO of the model we are about to take a look at. So that's pretty interesting, a little different, kind of switching it up as far as that goes. And then we have our Lingulong itself. And wow, is that ever impressive. It's also so large that lately I've been bringing in kind of like that turntable to show the figure off, but I don't know that I'd be able to do that because this one is just so long that we've got that really long tail on it, but I definitely am a gigantic fan of what I'm seeing here. The figure, again, is huge, really big, stocky body to this sauropod and uh, also quite long overall. Really nice coloration as well. I really think that PNSO continues to improve with each and every release as far as their actual paint applications go. They're always just so smooth and realistic. And that's definitely what I, yet again, am seeing on this Lingulong. So let's go ahead and jump straight to a closer look at it right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Lingulong, straight away you can see that the entire head sculpt is very nicely detailed. You can see some beautiful paint application as well, as we have a few different variations of browns, lighter and darker shades. We also have like a black dry brushing that you can see, especially there around the eye socket and up over the eye. And also here on the top of the head which very realistically highlights the detail there. You've got the nostrils. You can also see the teeth of our sauropod. And the teeth are all very nicely painted. Like each and every tooth is individually painted. Looks really nice as far as the actual paint application goes. It would be very easy to kind of sloppy that area up and make it look pretty bad but PNSO has delivered a fantastic paint job as far as that goes. The eyes of our Lingulong are also painted with a nice black giving a nice gloss coat so they shine quite realistically. You can see the ears as well. Again the actual skin texture look at how beautiful that skin texture is 
and they always find such really nice realistic ways to highlight the skin texture of their models so realistically. You can also see up here on the back of our dinosaur we start to pick up some ridges and there's also like a double row. Like we start out with one individual ridge and then we get like a double row of them that runs down the back of our dinosaur. As you move down the neck you can see some nice skin wrinkling, skin folding and stuff here in the underside of the throat as we lead from the jaw into the neck and you can also see again some nice skin detail, some nice skin wrinkles again leading up here along the back of the head. The dinosaur does have its head turned slightly to the right so it makes sense that it would have those skin wrinkles occurring. Beautiful looking skin texture as we lead down the course of the neck here of our dinosaur and you can see quite a bit of color variation as well as we have like reddish browns we have light browns kind of like uh, light brown dry brushing as well and there's also darker shades of browns up here as well as blacks that stripe down and there's also kind of like a lighter brown or like a tan that runs in between those stripes so just a lot of really nice coloration as you lead down the course of the neck of the dinosaur. You can also see some osteoderms and stuff as you lead down that neck here on the underside. You can also see we transition to a nice lighter tone, which also has a beautiful dry brushing over it to really highlight all of that nice scale detail. But you can pick up on the throat and everything here on the underside of the dinosaur as you lead down here to the bottom of the neck. You can see some more skin wrinkles and stuff right there and uh, some more skin creases. You continue to see that here as you move up towards the side of the neck again since the dinosaur does have its head leaning a little to the right the neck would of course be following that lean so you can see that again as far as the skin wrinkling and skin folding and stuff right there as you lead down here into the body though you can see those osteoderms become really abundant like they are just everywhere and you can see them as you lead down here toward the leg right here in, in the shoulder area you can see again that we have tons of those but we also have this really nice black area like really nice black dry brushing and you can see quite a bit of variation within the scales of that area you can see we get larger scales in this area and they kind of diminish in size before transitioning back to the same similar style of scale detail that we see for the majority of the figure. Leading down here into the leg, you can again see some nice creasing right there. You can also see the elbow is present. You can see a little bit more skin wrinkling there, as well as some skin wrinkling right there in the joint of the elbow and then down here in the wrist and that of course is because as you can tell the dinosaur is about to take a step the leg is lifting up off of the ground so they've captured all of the movement when it comes to the skin that you would expect to see considering the positioning of the dinosaur you can also see the very nicely sculpted out nail over here on the side of the foot painted very nicely with kind of like a light tan or like an off-white and you can again see some nice color variation in the leg as we have like different variations of browns and grays as you lead down the course of the leg definitely look looks really cool. Lots of paint application on this figure. As you lead back up, you can again see more skin wrinkles and skin folds and stuff up here. You can also see some like reddish browns showing up in front of the thigh and then back here behind the initial leg, the front leg. You can also see a lighter coloration here in the stomach region. Again, look at how beautiful the skin detail is. That is phenomenal looking, potentially one of the most highly detailed sauropods that I think I've ever seen when it comes to skin texture. And I love the fact that there's this nice amount of scale detail through the course of the figure rather than just like creasing and more like, like a lot of the time you see sauropods with more like elephant type skin detail. And that's not what we really see here on this one. You see a lot more scale detail on this and you can see again just a massive body for our dinosaur a little bit of girth in the stomach region again looking really nice and healthy and you can continue to see how we have that striping running along the back and you can also see how the ridges uh, run here in that double line but they do transition to an individual line and they also kind of increase in size a little bit here and i like how you'll see some variation of color on the ridges as you see lighter tones and then darker tones and they kind of trade back and forth which looks really nice you can also see the hip bone as we move down here toward the leg again just skin detail galore here in front of the thigh and also in the rear of the thigh you can just see so much really nice looking skin wrinkling and skin creasing again showing off more of the movement as far as the walking position for our dinosaur you also have a similar look to that you know varying sizes of scales as well as that dry brushing of the black tone back here similar to what we see in the shoulder blade you also see that here in the thigh but you can again just see so much really nice very subtle color variation through the figure and also again some of the smoothest transitions i think i've seen as far as uh, paintwork goes 
As you move down here, you could see the kneecap. Again, some creasing there in the joint of the knee and the back of the knee. A little creasing there in the ankle. And you can also see another really nice looking foot sculpt with some more beautifully sculpted and very nicely painted nails back here. And then as you lead back up here, you can again see some more detailing here as this leg is taking a step forward, stretching the skin off of the tail very nicely. You see another little area of like that reddish brown. More of that beautiful detailing here on the underside. Look at how incredible and how crisp the scale detail looks here on the underside of our Lingulong. Man, that is just fantastic. As you move back, you also can take note to a cloaca. But as you move back up here, you can again see how those ridges had uh, grown in size. But now they're starting to get a little smaller, kind of starting to taper off a little bit. But we continue that really nice striping. Although the kind of lighter tones get a lot stronger here as we move out into the tail. You can see they're kind of subtle up here, but they really pick up and again become more significant as you lead out here into the tail. But you can also see variation of color just leading off of the darker stripes. We start out with a darker brown and it transitions to a lighter brown the further down into that stripe you get. You can again see more of those kind of like pinkish or like reddish tones here running along the tail. And then we do something that I think looks really cool and that's very, very smoothly transitioned to a beautiful kind of bluish green color out here for the tip of the tail. The dinosaur does have a pretty lengthy tail. You can see that for the most part it's, you know, held fairly straight out, but we do have a little curve but if you look here you can see how it kind of leans down just a little bit before picking up and then curving again out toward the tip but as you lead out again look how super smooth and gradual that transition is to that kind of blue green tone that we have out here and you also have more of those really dark stripes but here you see like mixtures of browns here they transition completely to a black out on the tail so again ending the model in a really really flashy way you can again see how beautiful that head sculpt looks over here. Super, super fine detailing as well as super fine paintwork. Again, there's just so much that could go wrong in the head sculpt of this as far as sloppy paint. And you don't see any of that here on this model from PNS. So perfectly precise paintwork. The eye is placed perfectly. Just no sloppiness at all. You can really see how high quality the PNSO models are as you continue to lead back. Again, you see that same style of paintwork, same style of sculpt, maybe a little bit less as far as skin wrinkling and stuff over here because the dinosaur has its head turned. You can see there, get an idea of the turn. It's turning its head to the right away from us. So it would be stretching the skin a little bit more so than, you know, bending and wrinkling it over here. But we do have quite a bit of skin creasing and stuff as we move down the length of the neck. And again, that really nice dry brushing. It's like a lighter tone, almost like a uh, khaki tone that's been applied here. But there's this really nice dry brushing of that reddish brown over it. And it just highlights that scale detail beautifully. You again have more creasing as you lead down to the bottom of the neck. And we again pick up that same style of paintwork, same style of scale detail where we have those larger scales in the shoulder, similar to what we see back here in the thigh. You can see how we have our dinosaur just walking along. The leg here is planted and you can really see that because the muscles are definitely tensing. You can just see a ton of tensing in this leg because this leg is pretty much about to support the entire front half of the dinosaur as the opposing leg there picks up. Really nice looking leg sculpt, beautiful foot sculpt, really nice nail again, but you can really see just right here running along the front, the nice tensing in that leg. They've really captured that beautifully in the sculpt. And again, as you lead back up here into the stomach, you have that little area of that lighter tone of color with that kind of like reddish brown circling around it. And you can see more of those osteoderms just everywhere. Tons and tons of those osteoderms. Phenomenal looking skin texture again. And just look at how beautiful that scale detail pops on this model that is just fantastic looking tons of skin wrinkles and skin creases the entire way around the thigh back here again you can see the skin stretching off of the stomach as this leg is trailing picking up about to take a step you can also see how the skin is kind of bunching up here back behind the thigh as the leg is again moving you've got the kneecap again really nice looking skin texture moving down into the ankle a little bit more skin folding and stuff and you can also see the toes and everything here the nails look great and you can also see how that foot is leaving the ground also looking really nice and then you'll lead back up here again to that beautiful looking tail and you can see how super super smooth and gradual that transition is as we lead back out again to that really nice flashy tail here at the end the tip of the tail man what an amazing looking model like 
This is just fantastic. I really hope PNSO continues to make more sauropods, especially more sauropods in this size, because this is really quite sizable, very impressive, and definitely one of the nicest sauropod figures I think I've ever seen. Now, as far as a size goes, it is definitely a big one, especially in the length department. For a length, you're looking at about the, I'd say about 19 and 3 quarter inch range, or about 50 centimeters, so definitely really quite long the highest point is definitely the back you're looking at about five and a quarter inches or around 13 and a half centimeters for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus and robert muldoon from the mattel jurassic world toy line next to our pnso ling mulong and you can really see again just how massive this figure is especially in the body but you can also see as we lead out that really beautiful tail that again it sports a pretty significant length for another size comparison as far as PNSO sauropods go, we don't get too many of them, but here is one of the nicest of all. We have the Mementisaurus from PNSO next to our Lingwulong, and you can see, again, pretty similar in length, but obviously the body mass is really quite different between the two, with obviously the Lingwulong leading in that department. But for another comparison... There is the PNSO Sinraptor and Olara Titan next to our beautiful Lingwulong, again showing you roughly what the size is here. If you happen to have either of these models right here, they're also kind of in a weird position here, the way I put them on here. I'm not sure why I put them that way. But regardless, for another comparison, we've got everyone's favorite Tyrannosaur as we have Wilson the Tyrannosaurus next to our Lingwulong. And you can see the Lingwulong even defeats Wilson in the size department. Wilson is a pretty decent sized T-Rex figure, but the Lingwulong again wins both the length as well as body mass departments. And then for one final comparison, we have the PNSO Centrosaurus and Triceratops next to our Lingwulong. Unfortunately, I don't have any other Lingwulong figures in my collection, like, at all. As I mentioned in the beginning of the review where I said this was a new species entering my collection. So I don't really have any other figures that are like that to compare it with. But, again, hopefully these figures here next to this will help to give you a pretty good idea of the fact that this is definitely a very sizable release. So this brand new PNSO Lingwulong is another amazing release from them and they just seem to get better and better and better with every release. This is definitely one of my favorite releases to come from PNSO in quite some time. The sculpt of this is phenomenal. Just unreasonable amounts of detail. Honestly, the type of detail that you would expect to see on the living, breathing animal. It's almost like they just captured the dinosaur in a moment in time and then just molded it into a figure. The detail is that good on this. There is just skin wrinkles galore, beautiful, really vibrant scale detail, some fantastic ridges running down the back, osteoderms everywhere, just amazing amounts of detail through the entire figure. The paint job as well is beautiful if you ask me. There's just so many really nice tones of color to it, just really realistically applied, like they've done such a good job, like they always do, of highlighting the detailing in the most realistic and really quite subtle subtle way possible as they always just dry brush the detail out in such really really beautiful ways that you almost can't even see how lifelike it is until you get nice and close and look at it in a really good light and then you'll really be able to I think respect just how good the paintwork is of this but also many other PNSO models but they again have continued with that really nice paintwork again with the beautiful dry brushing the really nice washes as well as incredibly smooth transitions and I feel like the color scheme looks really nice and natural and I love the fact that they gave it that extra bit of flashiness out there on the tail that just looks really cool and uh, just amps up the appeal factor quite drastically as far as I'm concerned for the figure as if it wasn't amazing enough that definitely helps to improve it even more the pose is pretty nice nothing amazing or you know crazy or too dramatic it's just walking along looking nice and peaceful Pretty much exactly as I like to see for a beautiful, very peaceful sauropod. Definitely really nice looking as far as the pose goes again. And as far as that pose goes, they've captured all of that movement in the sculpt beautifully. So... This is another amazing release from PNSO, an incredible species choice. I really love the fact that PNSO always creates such obscure species, and then they also create the more mainstream species. Just 
amazing work that PNSO has been doing for an extended period of time. And this is, again, more proof of that. So if you are interested in picking this fantastic figure up, make sure you check the link that I will include in the description to where you can purchase this on the PNSO Amazon store as well as the PNSO AliExpress store. One way or another, I highly recommend picking this up because it is fantastic. So make sure you do that and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.